Welcome back to the Black Lights channel, the number one source in black lights. Whatever glows, we'll cover it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so I get a lot of questions on the difference between 365 nanometer and 395 nanometer black lights. Later in this video, I'll sh visually show you the huge difference. I'll go in depth on which black light is most suitable for you. 365 nanometer and 395 nanometer is basically the wavelength on the electromagnetic spectrum. The human eye can roughly see about 380 to 700 nanometers in wavelength. When you start moving down to 365 nanometer, that's when we start getting off the visible light spectrum, where majority of human beings will not see the light until it actually hits its target, which in our case, UV reactive material. So what does this have to do with the black light? Well, most LED black lights are in the 385 to 400 nanometers in wavelength. And the good LED black lights are in the true UV range at 365 nanometers. So let's take a look at this 395 LED black light flashlight. I wouldn't even call this a UV black light. It's what we call purple blue light, hardly any UV coming out. I'm sure you have seen the videos make your phone into a black light. This is basically what it is. It's an LED emitting purple bluish light. Now you can see the purple bluish hue coming out in the background. That's all visible light. In certain applications, the 395 nanometer black light will get the job done. Okay, let's take a look at this 365 nanometer black light flashlight. Instantly, you can tell. There's no purple visible light coming out. We're now in the spectrum where the human eye can see the light. The little visible light you can see is actually the light reflecting off the target. In some cases, you'll still see some visible light and it all depends how powerful the black light is. The more wattage coming out of the black light means the more visible light output will come out. But you won't see that purple visible light at all. If you have a more powerful 365 nanometer black light, you want to cut out more of that visible light, you can use what's called a Woods glass filter. This will ultimately cut out most of the visible light leaking out, but you'll lose some of the UV output. Which black light would you go with? Leave a comment down below. I'm curious to, to know what you guys think. Personally, I go with the True UV 365 nanometer black light, but most people love that purple wash coming out from that 395 nanometer black light. Pros and cons, the 395 nanometer black light is cheaper and certain applications it will work. Uh, the cons for the 395 is that you get that purple bluish visible light coming out in the background and uh, most of the invisible clear paints will not work with a 395 nanometer black light. And I'll have another video about that going into more detail. And I can show you the visually the difference that it doesn't work. Pros for 365 nanometer black light. You have no visible purple bluish light in the background. Invisible paints will work best with 365 nanometer. Um, also, phosphorescent glow green will keep the charge longer with the 365 nanometer black light. Darker rooms with only UV material glowing. Now the cons for 365 nanometer black light, there basically is none. It'll cost you more money, but you get what you pay for. The LED black lights I used in this video, I'll link it down in the description below. You can go ahead and take a look at the specs and everything. Um, let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below, which black light LED flashlight do you like better? Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if this video did help you, please hit that like button. It definitely helps out the video channel. Thank you. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.